Hey there guys, how are you guys doing? This is your Vibro from Tech Week Team and so today in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Phoenix OS, Abstergo OS or not Phoenix OS, it's Abstergo OS by my friend Abstergo TV. So huge shout out goes to you my friend, you did a great job. So this version of Phoenix is basically concentrated on the people who has really uh, old spec uh, specifications inside their computer. So if you have an old PC, you just got yourself a best version of phoenix to install over into your system so let me go ahead to the settings and let me show you the kind of kernel and also the major drivers that you're gonna get so you're gonna get the kernel as 4.14.15 out of the box and also get Mesa 17.1 which is the most suitable for all the uh, low end spec computers so talking about the change log that we have over into the system the change log will be here in the screen so let me read out them so the golden theme that we found in the previous version has been removed and a new neon look has been given so which looks pretty great you can see the icons just pops out and it's pretty amazing also there is updated g apps but the version that i'm using right now is the one without g apps because i told you in my previous video that g apps just consumes huge amount of resources or and also it has better ram management so yeah that's great for people who has two gigabytes or even four gigabytes ram that's really great booting speed be bought in so just boots up pretty fast and also supports kernel 4.19.100 which is only for 10 generation processors if you have people out there who has a 10 gen cpu you can go ahead and use that kernel and it will just improve your performance greatly but it doesn't support for 8 gen processor i just tried that just now and also firmware has been upgraded it supports all the kernels performance is best no competition unbeatable performance l speed has been updated to the latest version all right and also supported all the pubg variants and also free fire mouse lock um fix has been fixed so that's really really great and talking about the installation video and all the links and stuff the link will be there in the description don't worry go ahead my friend Absurgo TV has already made a detailed installation video so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself it's just great and also you might have come to this video about the kind of performance that you're gonna get out of pump PUBG. so and also he said that it is about 75 fps and stuff like that but there's a catch let me explain it to you so basically my laptop the screen of my laptop is a 60 hertz screen and even most of the most of the users that you have right now all the lcd screens are mostly 60 uh, hertz refresh rate screens you, you might know not 90 hertz 120 hertz 144 hertz and nowadays some pcs have like 300 hertz Woo! And so, um, if you have any CRT monitors all lying around somewhere, like CRT, remember those big ass boxes that we used to have when we were young? So yeah, that kind of um, monitors if you have. So if you have that kind of monitors, they support 75 hertz, if I'm not mistaken, because I had one. And if you have a monitor that supports more than 60 hertz, it's gonna come up the more the gameplay or the everything that you're gonna do will be coming out in 60 in 75 frames per second my friend abstergo tv is rich i guess he has a 75 hertz monitor and that's why he was playing the game i don't know how he was playing the game in 75 hertz because i don't think the game official supports that but still he showed in this video and i was pretty much promised and i really wanted to try it out but uh like i said i don't have a 75 hertz display so it's not working for me so let me show you the gameplay of pubg so uh okay before showing the gameplay of the pubg let me show you the things that comes pre-installed so it comes with the cz file manager game helper settings gallery security app fx uh, file explorer if it's the file reader and the tethering to say this is only used for like if you have tethering issues so the tethering issues will be fixed and puffin is the default browser fx file manager performance tweaker l speed super su is the default root manager and aurora store is the default app store that you're gonna get without um app store so that's great you know it's awesome 
And also after that, you get Apex Launcher as well. And also GFX tool it comes with a GFX tool, but this version has ads. So the version that I have doesn't have any ads. So link in the description. Bing! All right, so after that, you're going to get the Absurgo um, app himself where it leads to his own website where you can get all his latest and greatest updates and stuff like that. But it has huge junk off. Oh, what is this? I don't know. Just close it up. All right. Um, all right. Let me close this thing up. And after that, I have the ADV screen recorder, the uh, screen recording app that I'm using right now. 60 frames per second, baby. 60 frames per second. And after that, we're going to get we have PUBG Mobile. Don't worry, PUBG Mobile doesn't come pre-installed, so you have to install it by yourself. And also it comes with GL tools. It has also got the, you know, the terminal thingy that we had that is used for updating Mesa drivers and kernels and stuff like that. There is that is available here, so you just need to press Alter and F1. But if I press that, my whole system will crash. So that's really not it. And let me show you. It does work. Let me go to Aurora Store and try to search for a terminal. And um, let me just click on it. And let's take a look at... Okay, the first one. Um, we'll just hit on Install. It should be done in just a fraction of a second because it's only 551 kilobits. Uh, if you have a slow internet connection only then you're gonna be like having to wait for like an hour or so or whatever and okay we have successfully installed it and let me open up terminal and just increase it to size here and let's type in a b s t e r g o hit enter oh okay as you can see it says this script and then Copyrighted by Abster, go to render inspector, hit enter, and you can see all the um, options here, restore and backup PUBG M, enable extreme mode and stuff like that. So that's pretty much great. You can also upgrade and downgrade your kernel and Mesa driver. So that's pretty awesome. And let me just close this thing up and all the bullshits away and let me open up PUBG Mobile. The GL tool doesn't come free installed either. I've just installed it to show you the FPS that we're going to get. So let's open up PUBG M. And let's take a look at how the performance is. Don't worry, emulator detection is turned on. So you cannot play this game with your mobile players. Yeah, if, of course, everyone has friends who plays PUBG Mobile in mobile. Unlike us playing PUBG Mobile in a computer. Woo. And you can see my FPS, it just goes up and down. It's the buggy game. It's just the shitty game. And you can see... I'm getting around like a 60 FPS and now it's 12. Ho ho ho. That's really, really bad, you know. The game just freezes so much. And I have been playing this game over into my... Uh, I died in the last round. So this is my... Um, what to say? My primary account. So out of the box, you're going to get... Go to settings and go to graphics. You're going to see smooth and extreme preset. That's amazing. I'm getting like 60 FPS. You can see in the top. Uh, and you can see the smooth transition. Maybe you might see some lag here and there. And that's me. That's basically because of my screen recorder application that I'm using. That is the EV AVD screen recorder. Right? This is the one of the best, not one of the best. This is the best screen recorder application that I'm using and just support 60 FPS recording. But in games, it doesn't support 60 FPS recording because PUBG Mobile is a huge junk of game and it just really just uses whole of my resources and makes it so much laggy and what whatever and I'm just waiting for the game to load okay the game has loaded up pretty well and you can see out there the performance okay i'm getting any dips and 50s and 60 i should suppose okay it's not reaching 60 okay it is reaching now 60 so that's great you know um you can see while i'm moving there are some lags that's only because of the screen recorder application so yeah you're gonna get really great performance without the screen recording apps don't worry all the installation and all the videos related to abstergo os and tv will be there in the descriptions go ahead check it out without any issues abstergo tv has made a detailed video installation video so go ahead and check it out and if you got any queries i'm always there for you I will be helping you no matter what. Just go ahead in the comment box. Just write in whatever you want. Hindi may bhi aap sakte ho. English may bhi put sakte ho. No worries. 
and whatever yeah and you can also follow me in instagram my instagram name will be splashing up in the screen also you can follow me in discord you can talk we can talk over there as well so yeah that's pretty much it guys have a great day god bless you all and get the hell out of here